Hey, what's up guys? This is Alvin aka Medieval Halls and today I'll be bringing you a review of the Spawn Kickstarter 3-pack Triology by Todd McFarlane. Now in case you don't, you did know, um, Todd McFarlane uh, had a crowdfunding Kickstarter campaign back in March, April 2020 and um, yeah, to which uh, he said that he's gonna uh, release some Spawn figures in different variations um, you know, we have the classic over here, we have the modern, and we also have the artist proof, which I have not taken out of the box. So I'll probably do it later, um, if I have the time. Um, so today's review is, is more of um, just going through the differences. And, and if you are thinking whether to get it on a secondary market, hopefully this review will help you to decide because I, I know that um, the prices are a bit crazy on eBay right now. Um, yeah, and before I begin, I'll just like to say that I'm not a regular toy reviewer. Um, I'm just someone who enjoys his, his toy figures and yeah, so do bear with me. All right, so yeah, the first off, uh, I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna start off with this uh, classic spawn. Now this is this is really amazing. Um, I remember watching the movie with my with my cousins back then, and he had this uh, spawn figure. And I thought it was really cool. Um, and Todd has decided to do something a kind of like a remastered version of it, right? So if you look at the details, uh, it's incredible. You know, McFarlane Toys has always been known for, you know, the the sculpt and if you are to see how how much how much detail has gone to it, you know you you will come to appreciate it, All right? So if you look at this, um, I really like the eyes because uh, he has that kind of glow, that green glow that you you get that kind of stares back at you. Um, yeah, and in terms of the the colors, it's been given a wash. So it all comes out very nicely, right? And the chains, uh, instead of the plastic ones, it, it comes with metal chains over here, S hopefully stainless steel, so it doesn't rust over time. Um, and the cape seems to be, be made out of uh, a rather hard plastic. Yeah. Um, in terms of articulation wise, uh, Unfortunately, you can't raise, you can't really raise the arm up above this, above uh, his shoulder, and I think that's kind of disappointing because if you want to have him reach out, you know, above, you know, to hold something, yeah, you you can't do that. All right, so it kind of stuck here, and you can't really push the plastic up as well because it's a really hard plastic, and the cape doesn't come off. It's it's kind of welded. If you look at it, it's kind of, yeah, stuck over here, um, presumably with glue. And I believe there's some glue over here as well. So there's no way that you can remove the cape without actually, I don't know, destroying part of the figure. I, <laughs> I'm not going to try it. All right. Um, so in terms of articulation wise, uh, yeah, so you have a kind of a head movement. Um, yeah, so you can you can take out the head, uh, which I'll go over later. Um, but essentially, you can turn left, can turn right, can look up, down, right. Um, yeah, so there's a there's kind of swivel. Yeah, in the neck. Um, yeah, and there's also. A hinge swivel. Uh, it has a torso rotation, a ball joint, um, but it doesn't have an app crunch, unfortunately. Um, for the legs, uh, you could you could turn it. Yeah, and it has double jointed knees. Yeah, so you can go quite a far, quite far back for both legs. Um, and you also have a toe pivot. 
yeah right so i suppose if you want him to kind of have a a flying pose you could just uh prop him up with a with a stand with a flight stand or something i'm not sure uh i do have a flight stand here it's a regular mesco flight stand with a can of beams um base so i suppose i could try propping him up like that yeah so if you want if you wanted to i suppose you could get him to kind of float there um honestly i'm not sure why they gave him double double jointed knees uh when you can't really have you can't really have an app crunch you know so all he does is is that he's gonna be going looking down all the time you know if he bends his knees so um i'm not sure whether <laughs> this has been thought through okay but having said that i i say that this this figure um really is really nice because it reminded me of how it was uh back then you know where the toy when i was playing with my cousin's toy you know, it, it never belonged to me and uh okay let's see if i can find you know a photo of it yeah so i managed to find one on on the ipad so this this was the figure that todd was basing on you know um and he even has this same cape yeah so even back then the cape the cape was able to swing in and out yeah and i think todd was trying to do something similar to that yeah, so he has a comic behind. Oh, I'm not sure whether it was a comic. Um, well, anyway, back then it cost only eight bucks. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and he has this uh, wooden plank of a nail through it. Yeah, so for this, um, I think Todd was trying to do something similar. Yeah, so if you look at this, you know, uh, I think a lot of fans out there were kind of bashing him and asking, you know, why, why the hell do you do this? This uh, cape swivel nonsense instead of giving us a, a kind of a wired cape. Well, this is the reason. It's because he was doing, he was trying to go back uh, to what to how it was um, and giving you that kind of nostalgia. So if you grew up with this, with this toy figure, and you see this, you will immediately recognize that hey, yeah. So this was what Todd was trying to do. Yeah, and for that, I, I, I'm going to give Todd, you know, a 10 out of 10 because um, that was what I grew up with. That was what I remember playing with when I was a kid back in the 90s. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it's amazing. All right. So, putting that aside, um, what, does he, what does he come with? He comes with, he comes with the sword amazing detail again yeah so it's a spawn logo at the top yeah very nice shading All right um it comes with this gun with a kind of a bayonet All right and a kind of a maze with a with a hook in it so I suppose this is something similar to that wooden plank. Um, yeah, it's just a variation of that wooden plank, I suppose. And it comes with uh, also this necroplasm effect that it could slot into his hand. As well as a necroplasm knife slash dagger. Hmm. Okay. And he also comes with another two sets of hands. You know, so this is the kind of a loose um, trigger finger hands. And another two which uh, kind of holds stuff. Probably his knife, his dagger, right? So um, I, I think there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing it. Mm, for this sword, um, yeah, I can kind of take, take out the end. And you just slot this in. 
can just put it back. Yeah, so that's how he's gonna hold his sword. All right. I'm not gonna switch it in front of you because it's just gonna get too messy. Um, so yeah, that's one way of doing it. Um, another thing is that, yeah, so this, I, I would suppose that this fits as well. Yeah, so it fits. It's quite a tight squeeze, but um, the material is, is rubbery, so it's, it's fine. Right? Um, you could also, you could also put the necroplasm effect over here as well. So it, it kind of like, you're going to have fun with your toys, right? Yeah, I think that's really dope. And as for this, um, you could just get one of these hands. Yeah, you slot it in. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah, it holds really well. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to be at the, the end of, you know, <laughs> receiving end of this. Um, yeah, and this is the gun. It's rifle, assault rifle. Yeah, sorry, I'm not good with guns, so guys can just leave a comment below if you know what it is yeah so it's, it's a huge ass gun man yeah holds really well and he also comes with this head now I think it looks really awesome because look at that you know that flash that's rotting away and it's screaming yeah awesome stuff well the only thing about it is that um it has it doesn't really have a, a neck articulation so it can only be looking in, in one direction so oh well, that's that's pretty disappointing but you know it is what it is um yeah, still, I, I thought it's it's a nice alternate hit that he, he came he came with, uh, and if you are if you ordered the spawn trilogy pack, then you get a gold embossed Todd McFarlane signature, which is probably gonna worth it. It's gonna be worth a lot next time, maybe even now. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the classic spawn. Um, if you're looking at the other spawn, how it compares, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get to that now. So this is this is the modern spawn. Now, if you if you have the Mortal Combat spawn, I think this is something which is quite familiar, and that's probably why people would rather go for the classic because something different. So the modern spawn comes um, with with this shoelace head which I think looks absolutely hideous but really awesome yeah can you see that the details is on it yeah Ugh. <laughs> all right and the main differences between um, the modern spawn and the classic spawn is that uh, well besides the color scheme uh, he has an extra gauntlet over here all right and okay i'm just gonna push this back because it's kind of getting in the way all right so this this gauntlet while it looks really awesome um i think it kind of limits his articulation as well um uh, yeah the problem with this is that if you wanna if you wanna hold a gun or a sword then that's that's definitely gonna get in the way of things yeah um i i did try it with with some of the, uh, the accessories and uh i think it didn't hold up very well yeah so i think that's something which is quite unfortunate um whereas for this hand you can you can kind of you know push it back so you're not gonna have a problem with with this and the the other difference is that uh there's this uh, leg armor as well on this leg yeah for, if you have the Mortal Kombat spawn uh, that's on the other leg if I'm not mistaken I don't have that figure and uh, 
watch reviews of that. So yeah, cape wise is is the same. So it, it hinges back as well. So you can kind of push it back and have him look like this on the shelf. Yeah, it's pretty dope as well. Okay, or you can just close it. Okay, it's entirely up to you. So it's gonna look like that on your shelf. Oh. Well, it depends on how you want to display it, right? Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna go through the articulation again because it's the same as the, the classic spawn. Uh, well, if you're gonna ask me whether it's an action figure or a statue, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to answer you. Um, if you're used to, you know, Marvel Legends, if you're used to Mayfax, Mesco, uh, it's not gonna compare to those in terms of the articulation. But if you're talking about the attention detail and how, and how meticulous the paint job and the way you know the wash is brought out um mcfarlane takes it to another level now come on you're not gonna have you're not gonna have marvel legends you know with this kind of detail that that's for certain right yeah so i'll say that yeah it's a kind of a part statue part action figure uh kind of situation you're not gonna get maximum articulation but what i can say is that it's gonna look really good on your shelf right if you're a massive spawn fan then i i don't think it's something that you should have missed out on actually yeah so uh in terms of the accessories he comes also with the same um two pairs of hands so i'm not gonna go through that um and he also comes with uh, an, another gun, um, but this looks a bit different. Yeah, he has a kind of a rocket propeller at the top. Is that what you call it? I'm not <laughs> sorry, I have no idea what this is. Okay, yeah, but the details are really good. I'm going to have to just use the hairdryer and give it some heat, mold it back. Okay. Right, uh, for this maze, it's exactly the same one as the one in with the classic. Same with the knife, it's the exact same one, right? And okay, for this uh, necroplasm effect, it's, it's slightly different. Yeah, so if I just gonna try, so you just I'm not sure whether I'm doing this right. So if any of you folks out there who's got the figure already, yeah, you may want to correct me. So this is how I suppose I'll put it. Yeah. Sorry. So you can still kind of hold another stuff here if you want. <laughs> yeah, but that's going to look weird. I don't think he fights like that. Well, anyway, he spawns, so he can do whatever he wants. Right, so... Uh, okay, the modern spawn also comes with the Al Simmons head in human form. Yeah, so I thought this looks really good too. You know, so he has this really glowing eyes, uh, green glowing eyes. Yeah, looks absolutely nasty. Hmm. Right, so I think the the fun thing about um, having both the classic spawn and the modern spawn is that the stuff is interchangeable, right? So if you if you want to take the the classic spawn head, you know, and and put it on the modern version, I believe that is entirely possible. Yeah, so you can just put it down and yeah, I think the color scheme works. It's the same shade. It's fine. So you have a Mortal Kombat spawn. <laughs> yeah, so you can display him like this if you want. Um, you could take, you could take the classic, you know, um, head and put it here as well. Sorry, the head from the classic pack. 
can put it in as well. Right, it's gonna look disgusting. Yeah. And you can put, of course, our Simmons head there. Right. At the same time, you could also put our Simmons head over here as well with the classic spawn. Yeah. So I think the fun part about having two of these is that you get to change the effects around, you get to change the guns around. Yeah, so I think that's the fun part about it. All right. I'm just gonna leave them hitless for now. Because spawn can't really die, right? <laughs> and uh I guess I'll just roughly go over the hit sculpts. Um, yeah, so this is the, the classic look. Mm. Yeah, look at that, man. You can see the teeth. Somewhat. Yeah. I really like the green paint. You know, I wonder what, what kind of paint they use. Yeah, so you can turn this head like this. Yeah, so this is articulated. So it looks really good. Um, yeah, so the other articulated head is is the one from the modern spawn, the L Simmons human head. Yeah, so that moves left and right as well. Up and down. Okay, I'm not sure whether you can actually take this out. Okay, I'm not gonna try. All right. So yeah. Looks good. Right, so the other two unfortunately are more static and also it's not gonna change. Just have to look. Yeah. Ugh, look at this. Yeah. You know, this is probably what I'm paying for. You know that you know that, that kind of sculpt. Entirely new sculpt. Yeah, equally disgusting. Probably this one is worse. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's what it is. Right. Oh yeah, I neglect to mention that uh, both comes with this uh, stand as well. Racket setting action figure. Wow. Um, he really does his marketing, huh? <laughs> right. So um, yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna, you know, take out this. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do an unboxing, but essentially, if you're not sure how how it looks like, uh, yeah. So all the boxes are about the same. You have a spawn logo at the side. Um, yeah, you have, you know, depending on which one it is. If it's the classic, then it's the red one. If it's the modern, it's the green one. If it's the artist proof, then it's the white one. So. I guess I'm doing the unboxing in front of, of you. Yeah, so yeah, so it comes with this sleeve, you open up. Whoa, okay. Yeah, and, and you have this uh, this. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, so you have this masterworks certificate of authenticity. Um and this comparison checklist of the original 1994 spawn and the remastered 2021 spawn. Yeah, that was 5.5 inches, now it's 7 inches and includes all the other things that wasn't included previously. Right? So really cool, really cool stuff. Right? You get this um, in all the packs. Right? Um, okay, so... So it's gonna look something like this in your pack. Okay, so he has that flying kick. Flying kick has swing open action. And you have this record breaking comic posable action figure, right? And yeah, so basically you see this. Okay, I'm gonna take it out, all right? 
out of the pack. So just bear with me for a second. I'll take this out. All right, getting there, getting there. Okay, there you go, all right? So this is that whole, so this is what you're gonna get um, in this blister package. Uh, yeah, so you have this, so you'll be in this uh, blister packaging, which you could put back. There's a comic behind as well. Uh, you could open it over here like this, so you can you can seal it back after that afterwards. Okay, so I'm not gonna take it out. Yeah. So the only difference is that for this artist proof, uh, it's not it's it's not colored. It's not painted. Um, it, it is that of the classic spawn. Yeah, so it's a classic spawn figure, but it's not painted. Uh, it also comes with metal chains. And it comes with this extra effect, necroplasm effect. That's a kind of circular. Um, yeah. So that's something that's not included in any of the other two. Right. Yeah. And besides that, besides that, it comes also, it comes also with this, let's see now. So it comes with that yelling L. Simmons uh, demon head, spawn head as well. So it's the exact same one as this. It's just that it's, it's not, it's not painted. Um, yeah, it comes with this knife again. It comes with the sword. So it's the exact same sword as this. Yeah, it's just that it's colored. Yeah. It's painted. Um, and this, uh, what? Oh yeah, this is the maze. So you get a maze as well. Right. Yeah, so that's what you get in the artist proof spawn. All right. Yeah, so uh, I guess to do a bit of size comparison. Um, okay, let's just... Pop the head back. Let's use the classic spawn because I really like, I really love him. Okay, and I'm just gonna move you aside. So here you go. So for size comparison, um, let's compare you with a few characters. Who do we have? All right, so if you want to battle demons together, you can have Thousand Toys Hellboy. Yeah, so that's how he stacks next to him. I think size-wise, it's pretty all right. Um, Spawn is probably half a head taller, um, but I guess that works. I mean, both of them are kind of like hell spawns, right? So I'm going to fight. The demons together, I think this will make a really good pairing. <laughs> Alright. So, who else do we have? Um, so, if you want to talk about same theme of maybe horror looking, um, that's Nosferatu from Mexico Toys. Yeah, and yeah, just a tad shorter as well. I guess that's fine. You can have, you can have him fight Nosferatu. All right, and who else do we have? Oh, all right. So we have Marvel Legends Venom. Yeah, with a sculptor's sculptor shelf, a head painted by Flashpoint Customs, and you know Todd McFarlane gained his fame from. You know, drawing and painting Spider Man, um, and the symbiote, and the symbiote uh, suit. And I guess Spawn, the idea of Spawn was born because of that symbiote suit. Uh, can't stand that well. So yeah, I mean, they kind can, can kind of draw energy from each other. Well, for Marvel Legends, it's it's definitely shorter. It's, it's almost a hit 
almost one head shorter. Yeah, right. So, yeah, they can be really good friends because their suits can do the same thing. And if you want to have a kind of crossover, you can have X-Men fighting Spawn as well. Um, well, in this case, Scott Summers is a lot shorter than him. But that's fine, you know, because Al Simmons coming back in spawn form is, is not human, so um, Cyclops is really pretty tall himself, uh, but he's still shorter than spawn. <laughs> right. So that's Cyclops. Um, well, who else do we have? Well, you can also have Batman and Spawn. Yeah, I think Todd McFarlane has has uh, teamed up with DC Comics to write. I think there was one edition of Spawn and Batman, so you can have them fight alongside each other. Again, Spawn powers above Batman. Um, but that's fine, you know, you can just fudge it. Um, so this... This is a uh, Mesco Toys Sovereign Knight PX exclusive Batman with a uh, Old Boy CTDS Hit Scout and Hacker Customs Cape. Yeah. So well, see that's that's what a wired cape can do. You know, for you, it helps you have a more dynamic look about your figures. Right. Um, and what else do we have? Okay, I guess last one. Um, can Master Splinter? <laughs> Master Splinter, yeah, with his words of wisdom. Okay, that's well, almost no space for the characters. All right, so yeah, um, Snacker Toys. Master Splinter and it's almost half his height. Yeah. So if you want Spawn going to the sewers to seek the help of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then yeah, that's fine. That's how it's gonna. That's how it's gonna look. Yeah. So if you're wondering whether to get this a three pack on the secondary market, uh, I'm not sure what to tell you because the prices. You know, it's pretty steep. I got it at a Kickstarter price and I thought that it's it's worth the money. Um but I'm not sure if I will have to if I would have to pay a secondary market price for it, whether it justifies, you know, that um lack of articulation and you know that cape. But if you're talking about uh nostalgia, if you're someone who grew up in the nineties and enjoyed Spawn movie, you enjoyed the Spawn comics. You had that Spawn figure um, in 1994, and that was when you were a kid and messing around with your friends and all. Then yes, this classic Spawn figure is, is gonna be fantastic for you. Yeah, but if you're talking about having to, you know, pay, after market prices, um, I, I'm gonna say that, uh, I, I don't think it's it's gonna be worth that that money. Yeah. So, but I'll, I'll just leave it to you to decide whether it it makes sense for you, All right? So. Yeah. Have a have a good week, guys. That's it. Just.